lot of private moments in the life that you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Versus the last time something like that happened was when I did motivated. Shot smooth it was like, man, it's time for you to drop a record. And I was just like, be right. Yeah, and that opened this whole chain reaction of everything that I've been doing lately. So who knows this might open up the next chain reaction for me. Wow. So it's just time. It was like when I when I say it's time, then that's the time. It's like when I see homeless people, like standing on the corner of the bed, you know what I'm saying? And I pull up to the light. If I gotta think twice, I don't give them that. But if I see him and ask him to just go to my go to my shit, then yeah. that would be the time. It was meant for me to bless you too. You see what I'm saying? So that shit happened, it's just it's time for the record to come out. You see what right, I'm saying? So right. I was like, well, I don't want to just put one record out, because if I put the, you make me want a record out by itself, then it gets compared to hugs. You see what I'm saying? Right. Uh, but I wanted to do more than just three records, so I was like, okay, I'm going back to the studio. Right. So that was, that was that Friday night, that fucking Monday, I went in and did Love. Yeah, yeah, that's hard. And then Wednesday, I did uh, all this on time. All in the span of the week. This is how I say when niggas put their mind to something, they can do it. You know what right, I mean? right, 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 right. So, and I was, I put, I put the pressure on myself because I'm gonna be honest, bro. I don't be running the studio that often. You did. I don't even know you make it count. Yeah, every time because it's like. You know, I'm still a striving artist. You see what I'm saying? They ain't got time to go to the studio and waste time. I just want to ask you, man. Okay, so you got the you got the motivated three coming out. Mm -hmm. You got love and motivated. Um, like you said, you got your own brand. You got the motivated brand. Mm -hmm. You're you're a boss with it, a businessman, and a striving a striving artist. Right. Like you're trying to get out there. Mm -hmm. What's the best way you feel right now? 2019 going into 2020. You might as well say we in 2020. Um, what's what's you feel like been the best method? As far as promoting yourself, marketing yourself, I feel like uh, videos are, are, are real powerful these days. Again, like yeah. some people kind of sleeping on, like they got some people. I guess like older people that ain't really on YouTube, mm -hmm. but like I feel like videos are the best route to go uh, these days. As far as just this is me, this is my brand, this right, is where right, I am. Right. Right. I, I I think I totally agree with that. Cause mm -hmm. um, that's how I feel like I hold everybody to the same standards that I hold myself. Right. Right. If I can open the door for you, you open the door for me. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So when I say that, uh, shit, fuck. When I say that, it's like when I hear somebody's music randomly in the club that I don't know, I like it, it interests me. First thing I do is go to YouTube. Me too. I go to YouTube Me too. <laughs> and look for a video of them, like an right. official video. I want to see you right. singing this. Right. Because I want to see if I believe you and if I fuck with you. You right. see what I'm saying? Right. It's a lot of it's a lot of shit that like if I see something for the first time, there's an artist that I've seen, I'm like, oh I fuck with this. And then I once I search it. I, I find the more future shit, I'm fucking with it, and then I find some old shit, and I'm like, oh, I'm not fucking with that. <laughs> if I saw that first, it wouldn't fucking, it wouldn't have fucking made me. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Fuck with it, nothing. But at the end, at the end of the day, it's literally about the quality of the product that you pushing. So at the time, you was pushing the right product, and you got to fucking, you got to do follow up and fan. You see what I'm saying? Right, right, right. So. Like I said, videos is probably where it's at the most. Um, I think secondly, it's just going viral. And when I say going viral, I believe that, like, I'm not a nigga that's gonna go, that's gonna try to go viral. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? No problem, Chase. I'm, I'm not like that because I want you to respect my product. And sometimes it's like, when I see a, a nigga being a clown, well, once you show me another talent, it's gonna be hard for me to fucking get on there. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? What you feel about the baby then? 
some people feel like they use a lot of antics to get on and whatnot. Nah, his situation was totally different because that was just very good fucking marketing. <laughs> yeah. That was very good marketing. Yeah, I'm interested and, in what you go say about that. And a thousand percent confidence. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. For a nigga to walk around bare legged and <laughs> bare chested with a fucking big ass diaper on, <laughs> yeah. calling himself the baby. Yeah. Now, niggas might not have took him seriously. Right. You see what I'm saying? But, again, I didn't know about that, right? First, I have to hear the nigga is the nigga kill somebody in the fucking wall. <laughs> That's the first I heard from two right <laughs> Still, look, still didn't go looking for him. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. But then the nigga start popping up. Right. You see what I'm saying? Start right. His music start popping up. Right. Should comes. Cold as shit. You see what I'm saying? What I could do but respect that. And then I find out about the diaper shit and I'm like, oh, well, too late. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? <laughs> Well, like niggas laughed at that, but at, at the end of the day, it was good marketing. You see what I'm saying? Like, I probably had to see it in person. If I'd have read it on the internet and saw it first, then I would have been fucking. You see what I'm saying? But it, it's just about how you present yourself and what you sell to people, dog. And man, speaking of what you sell to people, right? Like, we go go back to you know, you got merch, mm -hmm. um, motivated. Brand is a real brand. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And well, I like new shit coming. Yeah, I see that, man. Yeah. When you walked up, I said, man, I ain't got that. You know, I got, I got me a motivated shirt at home. The you know what I'm saying? The, the motivators. The motivators, I like that. Yeah. So yeah. I want So I'm, everybody in that cop feel like they're part of the team. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely, man. Well, I know I'm part of the team. Yes, sir. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Yeah. yeah. So I want to ask you, you know, you know, as we uh, finish up 2019, this year we lost somebody like Dipsy Hustle, right? Right above our head, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Did Dipsy play any? Uh, did you pick, pick up any game from Dipsy as far as you as a businessman coming up, having a brand? You know what I'm saying? Because after she motivated Marathon, mm -hmm. it kind of got similar vibe. So, so, post Nipsey, yeah, post Nipsey's death, hell yeah, you see what I'm saying? Prior to it, I was I was a fan. I fucked with the music. You see what yeah. I'm saying? But, man, it was like, I feel like I missed out because I just didn't know. Yeah. Like, I was I was into the music, but I didn't know the person, right. unfortunately, you see what I'm saying? But from the music, I just always respected what he stood for. He looked like a nigga that he give, he give respect, niggas show him love, niggas fuck with him. Right. Like, nigga didn't have no idea the magnitude of um, influence this man carried right. to the point where after it happened and you go back and revisit all of the shit that this man was doing, it's like, man, fuck. Right. Like, and that's why I don't be like, I'm not no clout I wasn't a nigga that was like posting a bunch of Nipsey pictures and all of that shit, you see what I'm saying? And he got a, he got an RIP post out of respect. And because I fucked with the music, and it was unfortunate, and I fucked with Victory Map Heavy right. at the time. You see what I'm saying? So the shit just was so fucking left field and so unnecessary that without even knowing the effect he had on the people, it was a loss, and you felt it. You see what I'm saying? Right. Because it was like, man, this nigga was, you know, from the outside looking in, a real nigga. Right. He, he never gave a nigga any reason to not fuck with him. Right, right, right. You see what I'm saying? So it's just, you know, I guess I would have, maybe I was in the other shit at the time. You dig, and other things had my attention. But, I mean, my eyes is open now. Um, another thing going on in hip hop right now, I wanted to speak on, you know, uh, women, man. Women that rap right now. They, it's big, it's huge. I feel like you touched on that by doing the feature with uh, Tia yeah. Monroe. Shout out my girl Tia. What made you want to do that feature? Man, so. Uh, I'm low key, like I said, trying to be more than just a rapper. Right. Like, 
just out of respect, I'll never be like, nigga, I discovered T. You see what I'm saying? But it was on some random shit. We met, we did, because uh, I was shooting videos at the time. And Chuck Rula called me and was like, hey, you, uh, you, uh, you available? You come shoot some shit with somebody? Yeah, I'll be shooting videos too, I do everything. Uh, so when I went, uh, well, he called me and was like, I need you to come through. And I was like, I was tied up. I wasn't about to go. He did. And he was like, I need you to come shoot. Special. You see what I'm saying? So let me put in my work first. You see what I'm saying? Because right. just know that I saw it from the beginning. It is. Yeah. That's just how our, our friendship started. And we cool now. Like, if she ever need help with shit, she call me and I'll be like, I got you. You did. I'll help her get her shit together. All that kind of shit. So, yeah, so you know, like you saying about Tia, um, I saw that too. And I had did an interview with her, uh, like when I first saw her career was starting off or whatever. Mm-hmm. And, um, it just seemed like right now hip hop is it's the ladies' time. It's women time. Like why you why you think right now is just the perfect time for like this explosion of women? Because rappers. Because it's more women spitting than niggas. For real? That's your opinion. I mean, it's if it comes down to who's spitting and who's not. Yeah. There's as many women that's spitting as men that's spitting because the number of men spitting have gone down because of the fact that, you know, niggas is more so making that, that turn up music. Mm-hmm. And, you know, na 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 You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And I spoke on it earlier, and I don't knock it at all. You right. see what I'm saying? But the women are just capitalizing for, capitalizing on the, uh, the lack of it in the, the space that's now available. Right. And, I mean, honestly. Like Cardi B, Megan Thee Stallion, like they, they, they real spinners. But they, they rap. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? At they first rap. I thought Megan Thee Stallion was just going to be just, you know, just the ass shaking. Because listen, they got chicks. But she really they got, they got, they got, they got chicks that's on that turn up shit too. Right. But they're not getting the attention that the chicks that spitting is getting. Right, right, right. Because it's like, it's never been this many. You think about it, you done had Nikki. Right. You see what I'm saying? Who was Nikki competition? At the peak of Nikki being Nikki when Nikki came out. No one. You no did one. Nikki if you winning awards and not even beat that. Well, like six years in a row or something. You see what I'm saying? It's like, man, that shit got right. redundant. So when Cardi popped up, niggas was fucking with it. You see what I'm saying? And that's not to knock none of the other ones because they do have chicks that's underground rappers that, yeah, yeah, yeah. that was spitting. They just wasn't getting the notoriety that Nicki was getting at the time. Right. You see what I'm saying? So, um, I mean, honestly, bro, I can't even name nobody else besides Nati. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shocked about you feel me? Yeah. And Nati was doing her fucking thing. And getting the notoriety and recognition is just, I think she made some enemies, you know, and she got blocked out. You did. But that ain't stop her from getting up red because she's still doing that thing. Yeah, you that's, did. That's- yeah. At the end of the day, it's like, you know, you got to play ball or don't play. Right. It's unfortunate. I was shocked. Uh, I was just looking uh, the other day. Just like, maybe it was two days ago. The, uh, the Grammy nominations came out. Mm-hmm. People, a lot of fans of Megan Thee Stallion said, it's best stuff she ain't even get no, no nomination at all. Not new artists, not new nothing. I'm just curious talking to you as an artist. You know, if you was on the level where you get recognized by things like that, would a Grammy Award be important to you? I mean, uh, just be nominated or whatever. I don't, or, or I don't feel like you know, I don't. I don't. I don't necessarily think it's important because I don't need it to make me confident in who I am. Yeah. You know what I'm saying it is great to be recognized at any by anybody. You see what I'm saying? In my opinion, coming from a person that man, I've been doing this at this level for this long. You see what I'm saying? And I'm still trying to figure it out. You did? Whereas, man, I wish when people was looking at me or even considering me to tell me no, <laughs> yeah, nominated this right, year. Right, right, right. You see right. what I'm saying? So, but the thing about the Grammys is not just rap. 
Right. So you can't be mad that they might be three other country singers that was new this year that's bigger than bigger than Stella. That right. had a bigger year than her. Right. She had a bigger year than us. Right. That's our culture. <laughs> right. You see what I'm saying? But you just can't get mad. But at the end of the day, what I've also learned is that this internet has given too many people opinions in a well, not opinions, because everybody's always had opinions. It's given too many people a voice. Right. You dig? I don't believe that people should be restrained from speaking. You know what I mean? What I'm saying sometimes motherfuckers just be talking. Right. You see what I'm saying? It's like, I don't fuck with this. Why go out of my way to put a time to yeah. say that I don't fuck? Like, I, I trip off the amount of people that follow shit that they don't like. Because if I don't fuck with this, <laughs> most likely, I've been not fucking with this. You see what I'm saying? Because this isn't like just coming up to me. You dig? So for me to go out of my way and comment negatively about something that someone else does like and, and, and create this fucking bridge between us. So that you over there and I'm over here and I think I'm better than you. Saying why? Right. When I could be putting positive comments on the shit that I do, do like. Yeah, that's that's real. <laughs> that's real. Because like what I've seen from, from social media, you know, especially you being an artist, the, the more you grow, you got like fickle fans, and then you got like your know, supporters. Mm -hmm. um, it seems like you do a good job though with like how the stuff you decide to post and things you do mm -hmm. on social media. You know, so you keep you keep a good image. Right. Yourself on so as I as I've grown, um, I, I started like not. I just started monitoring what I put out, right. what I post on my page. I don't really be on Twitter like talk about it. When I, I got back on it, bro. When I go to really just to laugh at shit. When I go to Twitter, <laughs> see, I don't I don't even be exploring it like that. It's just all oh, fucked up. Ever since you put that shit, like the, what you missed, shit. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, man, I was used to fucking getting on Twitter and I'ma just start where I last stopped and I'ma scroll up. But now I've been seeing shit I've been seeing already and yeah, all that. Yeah. It's just it's just too much it's like Twitter support that you so Yeah, much. I'm looking I, I, sometimes I go and I, I'm looking for like the stuff that's going on in the city, you know what I'm saying? I, I always check and see if my love for club next to the post or something. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Well, I I use Instagram for all of that shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cause when I go to Twitter, honestly, bro, I'm just going to Twitter to see some stupid shit right. that I don't want to say on fucking Instagram. <laughs> yeah, because right now my Instagram is like the core place yeah. where people is fucking with because it's the main place where I'm working my shit. Right. So when I'm on Twitter, you know, I can say some shit that I don't really care if somebody gonna get, get mad about. Right. And then versus I want you to not be mad. Instagram. So <laughs> always be politi politically correct. On oh, Instagram. On oh, Instagram. You see what I'm well, you know when you get up big, but they still gonna pull the tweets, but they do it people. Dang, I'm scared of what they gonna pull from my tweets for like old oh, eight I'm nine. I'm a little older than you, so I'm gonna say this. This is what I was wrong. in college while I was the first guy. Let me tell you. Drake can do no wrong. Yeah. In my opinion. You see what I'm saying? That's me. That's my personal feeling. So when the Drake and Meek shit happened, it did, I was team Drake. Right. Uh, just by default. Right. However, prior to that shit happening, because I need this to be known, that I'm physically saying it, I was an avid supporter of Meek. The day when they used to be on there, oh, this nigga always made me scream, this, that, other. But when I listened to the music, the music was motivational, yeah. inspirational, and, um, I could tell that he really wanted to be great. You see what I'm saying? And I think his passion at the time, along with, like you said, drugs led to his uh, explosion, like he did. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And at the time, I was just like, man, you fucking tripping, son. You tripping. You tripping. I can't fuck with it. So if they go dig up tweets, they might dig up some meat meal tweets <laughs> from my shit. But that's the only thing. You see what I'm saying? So if we can ever see this, is love. <laughs> <laughs> you did. I fuck with you. Cause you, you came back strong. You did. Yeah, you did. I fuck with That's you. But the whole but the whole time the Drake beef was going on, I wasn't trying to get back.